24, 25, 20, huh, it is under 27 feet. Hey, Ryan, come here. So, brand new for 24, the Arcadia Select 21 SRK. This thing is 26 feet, four inches, 6,800 pounds. Brand spanking new. Let me close this for you. All right, this is a couple's fifth wheel. <clears throat> Let me kind of explain to you the Arcadia Select story though. Last year, fifth wheels, a lot of manufacturers decided to kind of take a stab at something. And it was, let's, let's give you a fifth wheel with a lot of features, but give you a used price. And to do that, we're going to take away a few high-end features, but still give you a feature-packed RV. Confused? You won't be after the next episode of Soap. And after I finish walking you through. You'll get it, and hopefully you got the soap joke. <laughs> I'm old. Rear kitchen dominating the back wall right here. The thing that I love that what they did with this Arcadia Select line was they made the decor extremely bright and whitewashed. It just looks clean. You got this glazed cabinetry that's shaker style with the matte black pulls all the way around this coach. And for one that can easily sleep four or five, you got a lot of storage in 26 feet, four inches, 6,800 pounds. It's a fifth wheel that is under 7,000 pounds. Okay, press surface countertop. I got the decorative backsplash here. I like to call it subway tile, but I guess it's not because it's like this mountain pattern, almost like herringbone. We're going to call it sub bone. How about that? Undermounted stainless steel sink with the high rise faucet. And I like this too. This is actually kind of modern and cool. Got to pull that out and there's your sprayer. Now, different than that fancy sprayer that you get, right? Right. But it's still a sprayer. One little thing that you might have to give up. That's okay. I got plenty of storage, full extension ball guides on my solid wood drawers storage under my sink okay there we go and okay here's another thing you give up a lot of fifth wheels have the 21 inch oven you got a 16 inch on this is it a big difference i don't think so i'm not baking the turkey in the camper i'm bra i'm baking the shrinky dinks you do have the glass recessed cover for your three burner cooktop that does double as a backsplash i do like that you got the lit handles you still got the little pot and pan storage down there if you need it flush mounted furion microwave uh, furion hood there and furion okay so i'm matching appliances i thought i was gonna have to give that up i'm not i still get the oversized 10.7 cubic foot fridge freezer combo right here that is also furion it's 12 volt it's vibration smart and get this you still get the solar flex on this one. So you're gonna have the inverted outlets. If you see the outlets anywhere that have the little yellow sticker, let's see if we can find one. Oh, uh, I know there's one over here. Yep, there we go. You know what, that might be one of the things that we gave up, more outlets. Look back there behind the TV, Ryan. You see that? You got the inverted outlet back there with your Keystone key TV multi-source connection and you have an oversized TV you get a TV so you're not giving up entertainment okay all right I'm, I'm kind of seeing and understanding the flow by the way th this is our first time walking in here this is our first time seeing this RV and we love it how comfortable is that Thomas Paine couch right that's pretty comfy right look at this this is why look how thick and overstuffed these cushions are you got the same thing on that Thomas Paine recliner which by the way is in a carpet free slide and over here yeah I, I still get the side balance the side skirting and the wood balance here but i got a pleated shade as opposed to the blackout shade i still get light dampening i still get privacy so if you're okay giving it up you give it up but look you got an upgraded usb port you got what is that usb a usb c i called it lightning one time and i got yelled at I'm like no it was okay well, you know what when you're 50 years old that's just what it is. Oh, wow. This is plush. Leatherette. I got storage under both sides. The dinette, the oversized window here with the mushroom. I see I got, okay, I got USB instead of dual. I got it on one side, USB-C, USB-A. Oh, and there's my inverted outlets. They're under the kitchen counter. Check it out, Ryan. Look, under there. You see them? 
Yeah, right there. <laughs> I'm taking the couch. <laughs> so the Thomas Paine collection, overstuffed and comfortable. Uh, and this, this is awesome. This does pull out into a sleeper. That reduces down into a sleeper. Uh, you could probably get two people on this. Uh, I don't think about the dyno. I don't think you can get two people there. But if you'll notice up top, so we are pre-wired for our 4G LTE boosting. We also have a high output AC and we got the blade distribution system. But I'm willing to bet because the select model is all about, let's take out just a couple of features. Yep, you're pre-wired for a second AC. So it's in the master bedroom, we'll, we'll get there. Let's finish the kitchen off first. I got the high output furnace right there. Uh, and you'll notice with the floor ducts, you got the upgraded floor ducts. What does that mean? You don't have those metal grates that could hurt your feet, you know, the kid's feet or the dog's feet. And more importantly, if you're sitting here and you drop food down in there, the old style grates, it would get into the ductwork. That's kind of bad. That's kind of bad. So uh, hangers here for whatever you want to put up there. Very nice. I actually, I can see the jackets going there. That's a great spot. And oversized cabinetry. It's still Keystone. I'm still getting solid wood construction. I don't have the hideaway hinges. So there's one thing that I'm giving up as well. But once again, I'm pointing these out so you can make the educated decision. Do you need it? Do you? I'm okay not having that for the price point at where we're at. That's really what I'm trying to show you. Now we're gonna walk up the stairs here. Right here is your command panel. A lot of the Keystone products, you'll see the, the in-command generation panel, the Gen 3 panel. Uh, so you don't have that on this one. You got just the standard command panel here. Right there is your Furion HVAC controls. Uh, but check your batteries, check your tanks. Um, you know, cut on your water heater, hot water heater, the whole nine. It's, do you need it? Do you need it? Uh, to me, it's a nice to have, but do I need it? I can't answer that question for you. Come into the bathroom. Okay, now this is actually pretty nice too. I got those decorative hangers. I got a vent and fan. It's not the max fan, but it's still a fan. I got a skylight in my shower. I don't have the curtain. I actually got a suspension door, the herringbone surround. I still got the upgraded. So they kept those features that are important, at least important to me to enjoy the RV. Porcelain bowl with the foot flush, undermounted sink in my vanity, oversized medicine cabinet, solid wood construction, as well as beautiful decor. I still have a beautiful functional RV. I'm just missing a few perks. And I got to tell you, there are some things that I will buy that I'm okay with missing those perks. There are some things that I won't buy because I need those perks. But I feel like here... And Ryan, correct me if I'm wrong, we're not really giving up that much. No, we're not, are we, buddy? Queen size, okay, queen size bed. I want a king size bed. You know what? Buy a king size bed. You can upgrade. The great thing about packages like this, if you want something, you can get it added in. <laughs> that's, that's a great thing about it, right? Well, I would like to upgrade the solar package. Sure, go for it. You know, I would like to get a bigger bed. Absolutely, go for it. But look how beautiful this front cap is right here. We're pre-wired for a second AC, like I said, in the master. But we do have two blade ducts. Now, this is that tornado-style wind. You get about 30% more effectiveness in your cooling with the way this is set up. So that 15K BTU AC will still kick out some good cool air. Uh, it's just, I know I absolutely have to have the separate AC. It's already pre-wired, get it added in. You got the shelf there, you got nightstand space with inverted outlets as well as USB, both USBs, and storage up top. Storage under my queen size bed. Windows on both sides. And ward storage over here. Okay, and plus a chest of drawers. I'm digging it. I'm, I mean, I can live without the, I love the hideaway hinges. They are nice. They are a very nice upgrade. I got my TV backer. It's not on the sidewalls either. It's right here. So many RVs will kind of skip because of the wiring. They'll put the TV backer on the sides. I don't like that because then you're laying down and you're watching TV like this. Having it right there, I like that. Plus I got my TTV multi-source connection and it's under 27 feet. And I'm 6,800 pounds dry. What can I knock? I got, okay, I got the outlets there, so I'm okay. I guess, 
I'm missing a power outlet here, but the only thing I'm gonna plug in is my cell phone. And I got USB there and USB here. I don't know, man, I can't really, I, they, they even gave me the wood touches on the sides. The, yeah, now the slide doesn't have those inlays that you see on a lot of the Keystone products, but to me, that's okay. This looks very clean, it looks very modern. I still have a bevel up here. Maybe there's something outside. Let me see if I can find something to knock on the outside. Come on, let's go with it. Okay, I mean, I got my slide controls and my awning controls right here. Well, how, how big is my awning? Okay, now that's a pretty big one. I got the LED light strip, so they didn't skip on that. It's the smart arm with the adjustable pitch. So I'm not hurt there. I got solid step over steps, friction hinge door, extra large grab handle. I got, okay, I got the road armor suspension, Dexter easy loop axles, tankless water heater, frameless windows, external speakers, pretty nice graphics. Okay, now I, I do notice that this year and you know, especially the last couple of years, they've been throwing a lot of those vinyl graphics on RVs. Um, that, is, that is a price point and that does cost a little bit. So, but it's white, so it's gonna be heat reflective. Very nice to have. I know what they did. I bet I don't have a, oh no, I got a enclosed underbelly. I got a LP quick connect. Right there. I got nice pass-through storage. I got magnetic anti-slam luggage doors. I got a key TV connection here, aluminum superstructure, inverted outlet, 30-pound LP tank on both sides. Uh, frameless windows. Okay. Uh, and road armor fifth wheel hitch that absorbs that chucking and bucking does a good job. Uh, that rubberized coil in there really does a good job with the shock absorption. And the fact that I got the road armor suspension means I'm gonna have a nice smooth ride. Yeah, you still got road armor. But one thing you don't have, you don't have automatic leveling. You do have power stabilizer jacks though. So uh, a feature, but I gotta tell you, you know, once again, uh, for the price point, are, are you really missing it? I'm not sure. You got the battery box in here, spare tire. You do have your Giggy box as well as your solar disconnect and your smart charge controller. One of the things I always tell people if I can, we are prepped for tire pressure monitoring on this. Whatever RV you get, please get that. 76,000 accidents happen a year with RVs. Number one cause of accidents is blowouts. Please do not be one of those. For me, please. If you're getting an RV, get tire pressure monitoring. Freshwater connection is locked behind here. External shower, okay, so I got my command system. Uh, I got my tanks, key TV multi-source connection. Uh, the satellite is already set up on the roof. There's my connector. Plus I got the Zamp Quick Connect. Uh, true fit slide construction. So, you know, I'm gonna reduce that chance of moisture getting inside the slide. Uh, I love that. that. That's actually really cool. And that right there are my tank controls too, black and gray. Now you do have a 54 gallon fresh, uh, 60 gallon gray. 30 gallon black, so those are pretty good tank sizes. And Ryan, check out this front cap. That's beautiful. But look at the front profile. Not only is that gonna help with the wind resistance, but that's gonna give you more room in that master bedroom up front, giving you more space for storage up front, like that storage shelf uh, that we had up top. Outstanding. Absolutely outstanding. Under 27 feet, 26 feet, four inches. Sewer hose storage there. I got the hitch right here, so if I wanna put a little, you know, carry on on the back, you know, maybe for the generator, the bikes, the wood, whatever I can. Backup camera prepped as well as bladder prepped. Rain nozzles. I got my plug right here for my 50 amp. Okay, I got 50 amp service. Yeah, cause I'm pre-wired for two ACs and right there are my dumps. I gotta tell you, for 26 feet, four inches, 6,800 pounds dry, 8,500 pounds gross. We're under, we're under 9,000 pounds for a fifth wheel. I'm sorry, but this is, uh, this is not how I usually do reviews. Uh, so, so please forgive me. You got to understand, I'm used to 
you know, I'm, I'm pretty used to the standard. I'm not used to things breaking the norm. So it's kind of taking me out of my comfort zone a little bit. Um, but I like this. I like this a lot. For all the features that you get and the ones that you don't get, I think this has hit a sweet spot. I think if you're the type of person that is looking for a new RV but wants to, I'm okay giving up some of those features that really, quite frankly, I didn't know I would need anyway. Number one, you can always get stuff added in. <laughs> Number two, if you didn't know about it to begin with, are you really missing it? So there you go. The Arcadia Select 21 SRK. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And the best part about it is you can pick this bad boy up today at your local camping world and I am excited about it. I really hope that you like this. Please, if you can, leave me some comments down below and let me know what you like and what you didn't like. Are those features that you know you don't have in there, You know, are those ones that you would miss? Do you need them? Because you know what? Leave me comments down below and let me know because we will pass it on to the manufacturers because they love to hear your feedback as well. And if you do get this, I want to know what you're going to do with it. Where are you going to take it? Tell me about your adventures. Please click like, subscribe, and notify so next time we do one of these, you're the first one to get it. I'm Chris Young for Camping World. Hope you enjoyed the Arcadia Select 21 SRK at 26 feet, 4 inches, 6,800 pounds. <laughs> I don't know what they're going to come up with next.